cookies. Not the chocolate chip kind, but the invisible ones tracking you across the web. They remember what's in your shopping cart. They make sure you stay logged in. And sometimes, they spy on you. This is every web cookie explained, from the harmless to the downright creepy. 1. Session Cookies Let's start with the lightest kind, session cookies. Think of them like short-term memory. They only stick around while your browser's open. Visit a site, add something to your cart, maybe flip through a few pages. Session cookies are quietly keeping track. But the moment you close that tab or quit the browser, they vanish. No goodbye, no trail left behind. They don't follow you, they don't spy on you, they just help the website function while you're there. Harmless, helpful, and temporary. They're the posted newts of the internet cookie world. Two, persistent cookies. Now, enter the memory hoarders. Unlike their session-based cousins, these don't disappear when you close the tab. They stay, days, weeks, even years, unless you delete them. Why? Because they're built to remember you. Your login info, preferred language, dark mode, all saved. So the next time you visit, the site feels familiar. No need to start from scratch. Sounds convenient, right? It is. But here's the catch. They can also be used to track your behavior across visits. Helpful, yes. But if misused, they blur the line between personalization and surveillance. 3. First-party cookies. These are the good guys, mostly. First-party cookies are set by the website you're actually visiting. You're on Amazon? Amazon sets the cookie, not some sketchy third party. They help the site remember you, your login, shopping cart, language preference, and how many times you've stopped by. All that convenience? That's first-party cookies doing their job. They don't usually follow you around the web. They just make sure that site works better for you. In short, they're the house cookies. You asked for them. You got them. Useful, respectful, and generally non-intrusive, unless the site itself gets greedy. 4. Third-party cookies. Now for the sneaky ones. You visit a news site, but the cookies, they come from somewhere else, like Facebook, Google, or an ad network lurking on the page. These cookies weren't invited by you. They just hitch a ride through ads, buttons, or embedded content. What do they want? To watch. They track what you click, where you go next, how long you stay, then they follow you from site to site, building a profile. Ever wonder why an ad chases you after one Google search? Yep, that's third-party cookies doing surveillance in plain sight. 5. Secure Cookies If cookies were messages, secure cookies would be the ones sealed in an armored envelope. They're only sent over HTTPS connections, the locked padlock you see in your browser bar. That means everything is encrypted as it travels between your device and the website. No eavesdroppers, no man-in-the-middle attacks. Even if someone's lurking on the same Wi-Fi network, secure cookies stay protected. It's like whispering in code, even in a crowded room. They're essential for things like logins and sensitive data. Without them, your info could be up for grabs. Bottom line, secure cookies equal safe cookies. 6. HTTP-only cookies. Now meet the ninja of cookies. These are stealthy, not because they track you, but because they hide from JavaScript. Most cookies can be accessed by scripts running on the page, but that opens the door to XSS attacks, where hackers inject malicious code to steal your data. HTTP-only cookies slam that door shut. They can still be sent to the server during requests, but scripts on the page can't touch them, not even peek. So if you're storing sensitive stuff like session tokens, HTTP-only is your shield. Quiet, invisible, and seriously secure. 7. Same Site Cookies Same Site Cookies are like bouncers for your browser, deciding when and where cookies are allowed to go. They come with rules, three to be exact. Strict, only sent on same site visits, no cross-site sharing at all, super private. Lax, sent with basic navigation, like clicking a link, but still blocks risky requests. None, anything goes, but only if the cookie is marked secure. These settings help block cross-site request forgery, CSRF, and reduce 
reduce tracking abuse. Modern browsers are leaning toward lax by default, putting user privacy first. Same cookie, smarter boundaries. 8. Zombie cookies. Just when you think you've deleted them, they come back. Zombie cookies live up to the name. They're nearly impossible to kill. Unlike regular cookies, these aren't stored in just one spot. They hide copies of themselves in multiple places. Flash storage, HTML5 local storage, even in browser cache or e-tags. Delete one, another brings it back. They're often used by aggressive advertisers or trackers who want permanent access to your data. It's like playing whack-a-mole with your privacy. Even worse, you probably didn't agree to them in the first place. Zombie cookies equals shady business. 9. Super cookies. If zombie cookies are hard to kill, super cookies are nearly invincible. These aren't even real cookies. They don't live in your browser's usual storage at all. Instead, they hide in places like ISP-injected headers, flash storage, or device fingerprinting data. What makes them super? They're incredibly hard to detect and nearly impossible to delete. Clearing your cookies won't touch them. Private mode won't stop them. They can track users across multiple sessions, even after reboots. Some ISPs and ad companies have used them without consent, triggering major privacy backlash. Super cookies, invisible, persistent, and deeply invasive. 10. Flash cookies, or LSOs. Remember Flash? It's thankfully dead. But for a while, Flash cookies, also known as LSOs, were everywhere. These cookies didn't follow browser rules. They stored way more data, like video settings, game progress, or login states, and weren't deleted when you cleared your normal cookies. Advertisers loved them, because they could rebuild tracking data even after you wiped everything clean. Worse, most users had no idea they even existed. Today, modern browsers and privacy tools block LSOs by default. But for a time, flash cookies were the wild west of hidden surveillance. 11. Tracking pixels and fingerprinting. No cookies? No problem, say the trackers. Tracking pixels are tiny, invisible images, just one by one pixels, embedded in emails or websites. You never see them, but when they load, they ping the server with info, your device, IP, time of visit, even your email status. Then there's fingerprinting, next level stealth. It gathers details about your browser, fonts, screen size, extensions, and more to build a unique ID. No storage needed, no opt out. You can't delete what isn't saved. It's the future of tracking. Invisible, cookie free, and way harder to block. Are cookies legal? Yes, but with limits. Thanks to GDPR in Europe and CCPA in California, websites must now disclose their cookie use. Ever seen those accept cookies pop-ups? That's the law talking. You have a right to know and sometimes a right to opt out. How to control cookies. Here's how you can fight back. Clear your cookies regularly. Use browsers like Brave, Firefox, or Safari, which block third-party cookies. Install extensions like uBlock Origin, Privacy Badger, or Cookie Auto Delete. Browse in incognito mode, though it's not foolproof. Cookies aren't evil. They help the web remember who you are. But too much memory? That's surveillance. Now you know the difference between session, persistent, zombie, and even super cookies. So next time a site says, we use cookies, you'll know exactly what kind. If you learned something new, hit that like button. And if you want more bite-sized breakdowns like this, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, stay private, stay sharp, and clear your cookies once in a while.